Hey friends, it's Mrs. Palin the Librarian with today's book review. I read The Barren Grounds written by David Robertson. It's a beautiful story that is on New Hampshire's Great Stone Face list, the, con the reading contest list for, for next year, 21-22. This was one of the first ones I've um, discovered that is on the list. It, it was just released and I loved it. So it is this fantasy story about two Native American First Nation children that live up in Winnipeg, Canada, and they are foster children to this couple. And they, they struggle to kind of retain their Native culture identities in this mostly white community. Morgan is kind of angry. She believes she was abandoned by her mother when she was a child and she's been in a bunch of different foster homes. Eli it has more recently been taken from his home and placed in the foster family. He's very much in tune with his Native American self. The two of them discover through one of Eli's paintings a portal in their attic that reveals that's an opening to this other world that is nothing but white blizzard. And one night, Eli goes through it and Morgan has to follow him to save him. There, they meet this creature, a fisher cat, but he's walking and talking, who actually saves them. And in his telling of the, of his land called Misawa, the children learn that the last human that came through that portal stole the green time, the seasons basically, from these people. And they have been plagued with constant winter all the time and they're dying because of it. All the, the game and the fish and the birds and everything they eat and berries is gone because it's winter. So they agree to work with Ochek, the fisher, to try to get back the green time and save Misawa. And that's the premise. But I, I, I loved this story for a couple of reasons. I love a good fantasy story anyway. The characters were very, very believable in that conflict they had of making sure they retain kind of who they are and any story that reminds a child, a kid who's reading it to just really be themselves and, and be true to them. That's a beautiful thing. But you don't read too many um, middle grade fiction books that highlight the Native American, the Native American experience. And so this was great in highlighting a lot of the culture and language and stories um, of the people um, of um, Canada and the natives that were there. So I liked it for that reason, but I also think it's really important for stories like that or any stories to kind of make us remember our history um, where the white man really took this country away from the natives and forced their cultures to change and in some cases wiped them out. So this story in in the main in one of the main characters that that white man who who took the green time away it, it is this sort of analogy to white man taking away all the cultures of all the native tribes all over the united states um when they got here so it, it's a reminder of uh, a horrible chapter of our past one that needs to be remembered um and it's a beautiful story to kind of shine a spotlight on that. So The Barren Grounds is the first in the Misawa um, saga, which it, book two comes out in September of 2021. I don't know how long this is gonna be, but this was a very good first book by David um, Robertson called The Barren Grounds. Thanks for, thanks for coming by. Whatever you're reading, keep reading. See you soon.